Hello, Paul from 4 Drive here, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Gen 2 motor options that you have for fitting to your new unit. So, there's two ways. One is the fully integrated mast motor combo way, or the other way is utilising the universal motor pod and motor system. The universal motor system allows you to use an existing mast that you own and you can retrofit the pod and motor to that mast in your desired location. There's five different motor choices. There's 15 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 25, and then there is 60 and 70 centimeters. So these three here are typically referred to as your foil assist setup. The, the concept and purpose behind these is to allow you to run a motor close to the base plate to allow you to get power to get up, get on foil, shut the motor down, and then free foil. This is in contrast to the longer cables where if you wanted to take these off and put a longer cable motor, you can run the motor down the base of your mast and that allows you to do flat water foiling and just cruise around if you want to. So it really allows you to make dual use out of the system. When I refer to a distance, if I was to say this is a 20 centimeter stator, that's referencing the center line of the stator to where the plug would plug into the unit. And to be clearer, what I'm saying is, this is an example of a 15 that I personally ride. So the center line of the motor relative to the base of the base plate is approximately 15 centimeters. That is the cable length with the curvature plugged into the unit. This measurement will fluctuate a little bit depending on the type of mast you have. Some have curved bases, some are very straight like the axis for example, and you do have a little bit of freedom of movement to move your mast forward or back and the motor up and down a little bit. Unlike Gen 1 where the cable just comes out of the box and you can sort of move it up and down to wherever you want, Gen 2 it is just a requirement to, to have different motor lengths because everything is obviously installed under the water and you can't have a big curled cable underneath your board. We would love to make these cables removable, um, but it's just not feasible to keep them waterproof and lasting for many years of use. It has to be fixed in place and sealed all the way through to the end of the plug. So that is why we give the customer the option to purchase a completely ready to go motor and cable length, or if you want to save some money, you can buy just the stator and you can reuse the rotor and propellers and hub from a different motor that you have. You simply buy the new cable length, slot on your old rotor and hub, put it on your mast and off you go. The other alternative is the fully integrated mast system where you are purchasing a mast at a desired motor height and the pod motor and cabling is all pre-built here at foil drive and it is sent to you as a completed item. For example, I have a Project Cedrus one here where the motor is installed in the 25 centimeter position and it's ready to go. Obviously the benefits of such a product is that it is a very clean and sleek install. It's more hydrodynamic and slips through the water a little bit smoother. But again, you do have to accept that you're choosing your installed position and that's a fixed item. Whereas a universal motor system, you can choose and change masks and that sort of stuff. Again, we're trying to provide as much choice for our customer base as we can, give you the option and the ability to choose what works for you. And I use all of these products in different ways myself and they all have their own pros and cons. Um, but at the end of the day, foiling equipment is all about different sizes and lengths and tuning and chopping and changing. So there's no difference here. Um, that's it. Thanks for listening. And I really hope you enjoy your Gen 2 system.